Well, this is going to be a interesting album to talk about, considering the circumstances that it is talking about and is supposed to be inspired by, yet I think it can go a lot past that. <laughs> Folk and Roll, Volume 1, Tales of Isolation, is the second studio album released by J.S. Ondara. This comes from the artist who released this, Tales of America, my favorite album from last year. That album had so many surprises, and I think it is an almost perfect album. For me, an album doesn't necessarily need to be perfect in order to get the yes grade. It just needs to bring that umph, that sparking desire in order for me to just want to recommend it to you, the viewer. So I was excited to be able to get more music from JS and also a little nervous because sometimes I worry how long it should take an artist to release another record. Sometimes it works to do it soon. Sometimes you need some time. But not all formulas work the same way for each artist. They all have to make that decision on their own. And I am okay with Ondara releasing a new album now, especially considering where the inspiration comes from. This is a COVID-19 quarantine-oriented inspired album. There's been a couple of those recently. I think there's a lot of people who have released albums and more people have released singles. Uh, that don't necessarily feel like they're going to age super well. There are a couple of exceptions with that. And I feel like Ondara's album here works better than the rest. I do have a few nitpicks, but overall, this is something I can still recommend. The first part of the title describes this album perfectly. Folk in Roll. For about... I guess 80% of this album, that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like it is folk and Americana just trying to get its way in there. And it tries to speed it up, the pace, the tempo. We're trying to create an edge to it. We're trying to get you a little bit more emotionally invested in some different ways. And then the latter half of this album, Tales of Isolation. Now, I don't know entirely about the isolation part, but Tales... He's working on that really well. Each song has a very different and specific story to tell. No two songs on a topic level are the same, despite all coming from the same inspiration moment, I guess. When you get songs like Pulled Out of the Market, which is more about job loss. Mr. Landlord, which is talking about rent payments, essentially. If I fix you Lockdown on Date Night Tuesday. <laughs> there was some enjoyable stuff with that one. Kind of just more about talking about having home dates. If you have someone that you care about to do that with. From Six Feet Away. Uh, that one should be self-explanatory, but yeah, it's about just some actual social distancing. The more you go into this album, I don't need to explain every single theme in here. You can figure it out. I'm gonna have to say it. Go listen to the album and decide for yourself what you think of this album. And I don't care if you don't like folk music or Americana or anything related to that. If you didn't give the first album a try, no, like, come on. Go listen to Tales of America right now or else. That wasn't a warning at all. <laughs> and then go listen to this one just to kind of get an idea of what his style is like. I know there's going to be some people who are going to feel like this album is only going to be relevant within the idea and spectrum with what has been going on with this COVID pandemic. I get that. But I could also argue because of the style and approach that JS is taking on, you could listen to this just thinking, you know, even decades ago, when maybe people dealt with other trials or sicknesses or anything like that, there's a lot of these songs that could be applied to other trials if you envision them in a different 
era, supposedly. But yes, when you get down to the nitty gritty details, it is very specific to this timeline. And that's okay, even though we don't really live in the ambiance of what folk is projected in this part of the 21st century. Okay, now I've said that. One song that really stands out in a good way is the shower song. Now, some people might get picky about the production value of this song, and I get that. But at the same time, depending on the approach that you take with what you have with songs like this, you have to see if there is merit in excusing certain aspects that could make it different. I think this song works out mostly really well. I do think the volume could have been adjusted on the shower itself. The vocals and the clapping, they're fine. Uh, yeah, uh, but there could have been a little bit more of balance out, but I'm going to be slightly more forgiving in that aspect. Now, Andara does not use a lot of variety in instrumentation in this album as much as I thought he could have. Shower Song is definitely an exception, but he uses harmonica as kind of his go-to secondary instrument. And it works, it saves some of the songs, but it also, depending on which song you're listening to, feels just like that, a fallback. It feels like the alternative, like we gotta mix something else up in here. And I don't enjoy thinking that it is that, the secondary instrument. I would rather have that be kind of like the extra spice you throw on top. Of the recipe but after a while some songs pull it off better than others and i have two other issues with this album firstly he tries to let the songs be a little bit more raw than the first album in the fact that he kind of allows certain things to be said or edited into the songs before or after the song ends or starts. And then the last three songs, which don't sound bad, but they get progressively longer and I don't feel like they needed to be. One is slightly over six minutes, the other is slightly over seven, and the other one is 10 minutes. And again, I have to reemphasize, I don't care how long a song is. I listen to classical and jazz songs that are way longer than the average slicking song. But you have to earn it. I don't like saying this, but I don't feel like these songs earned the dragged out versions because that, that's what it comes off as. It, to feel, it doesn't feel like it just happens to be going on longer. It feels like it's dragging out for some sort of artistic purpose that doesn't seem like it was thought out as good as it could have been, I guess. And beyond that, um, I don't think I have really anything else to say. I think that there's tons of great, great value and creative ideas that he utilized in this album. But again, when you come off an album that I praise so highly as Tales of America, it's going to be hard to measure up to that, even though I thought, you know, I don't think he's going to lose his mojo quite yet because he's just getting started. And this album proves that he still has it. It's just... You know, maybe it's just based on the conditions that we're dealing with right now. Maybe that's all it is. So after having listened and reviewed this album with production of 89%, creativity 71%, expression and lyrics 71%, I'm going to give this album a good. Still enjoyable very much, but I just can't give it as high of a praise as his first album. And I'm curious if he's going to do something else. Remember, this is a volume one, so... We'll see, and if not, maybe he'll get some sort of other inspiration of what isolation really means. Or maybe, oh gosh, maybe it's for the second wave. I'm not going to jinx that. <laughs> oh dear, oh boy. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff down below so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time. If I pick you a cake, will it help you forget that I have to fool a little bit of town? Every Tuesday we went to Chinatown.